Wella, wella raga. How's it going, everybody? Hope you're all doing great today. You guys are in for a really, really good video, especially for all of my fellow grammar lovers out there. This video is going to be perfect for you. We're going to be taking an in-depth look at the verb piacere when talking about saying I like someone or, for example, asking if somebody likes me. Now, I did a video a couple years back called How to Say I Like in Italian. I'll link that video up above in an info card and also down below in the description. In that video, I introduced the concept concept of the verb piacere, how it's a little bit of a backwards way of thinking. We'll do a quick review of that today. So if you haven't seen that video yet, be sure to check it out. We talk about how to say I like a thing, but today we're going to be talking about saying I like someone or asking if somebody likes me. So it's slightly different. Now another video that might be of interest to you guys is my indirect object pronouns video. In that video I go over pronouns like me, ti, ye, le, and etc. I'm going to review them for you in just a couple of seconds. The reason why I say it's a good idea to check out that video is because when you're using piacere you're always using indirect object pronouns. So I did go over them in the how to say I like video, but also much more in depth in the indirect object pronouns video. So if you'd like a little refresher or if you've ever, never seen that video before, I'll link it up above in an info card and also down below in the description. Let's get straight into this video. I'd like to give you guys just a review of what the indirect object pronouns are because we're going to be using these all over the place in this video and then we're going to conjugate the verb piacere. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, so hopefully when I edit this video I'll be able to fit the uh, all of the indirect object pronouns here on the side. Basically, we're going to be using these guys to let us know who likes somebody. It's going to make sense when I show you some examples. First, we have me. Me means to me in English. Ti means to you. Ye to him. Le to her. Chi to us. Vi to you guys and ye again meaning to them, both to them a group of guys, a group of girls, or a group of guys and girls together. Now some people find these a little difficult to remember, also there's some ambiguity when we're going over the third person pronoun, so ye for he and ye for them. So in that case, I'm going to show you an alternative set of pronouns that have the same exact meaning and they're a lot easier to remember. We've got a me, which literally means to me, it's the same exact thing as me in Italian, but it's just a different way of writing it. So a me, a te, to you, a lui, to him, a lei, to her, a noi, to us, a voi, to you guys, and a loro, to them. So there's no ambiguity here when we're saying a lui and a loro. They're two totally different things and they very much resemble the subject pronouns, so they're a lot easier to remember. So basically those pronouns that I just showed you, we're going to be putting those before the conjugation of the verb piacere and that lets us know who finds somebody pleasing. When we say mi piace, that's one conjugation of the verb piacere. That's the lui lei conjugation. When we say mi piacciono, that's the loro conjugation of the verb. What about everybody else? Well, the reason why we didn't go over those in that first video when I said, when I taught you guys how to say I like in Italian is because we weren't talking about liking people. We were talking about liking things. When you conjugate the verb piacere, depending on how it's conjugated, that's the person that you like. So let me show you what I mean, okay? Let's first just conjugate the verb piacere. So, io piaccio means I am pleasing, I am likable, or I please. I like to say I am pleasing. I find that to be the simplest con uh, translation, but feel free to use any of these three, whatever makes the most sense to you. Tu piaci means you are pleasing. Lui or le piace means he or she is pleasing. Noi piacciamo means we are pleasing. Voi piacete means you guys or you all are pleasing. And finally, loro piacciono means they are pleasing. But it can mean they as people are pleasing or they if we're talking about objects are pleasing. So now, let's say I take piaccio. I want to take the io conjugation of the verb piacere, piaccio. That means I am pleasing. So I'm pleasing to somebody, right? Who am I pleasing to? Well, to answer that question, we use an indirect object pronoun. That's their purpose. They answer the question to whom or to what. In this case, is something pleasing? So if I want to say I like myself, I put me before it. So mi piaccio, I like myself. Ti piaccio, you like me because I'm pleasing to you. Gli piaccio, he likes me. Le piaccio, she likes me. Ci piaccio, we like me. Sounds weird, but 
I think you guys are following. We like me. Vi piaccio. You guys like me. And gli piaccio again. They like me. Now, if you want to turn any of these little phrases that I just gave you guys into a question, just use a rising intonation. That's how you say, do you like me? Do they like me? Just use a rising intonation. It's kind of like saying, you like me? They like me? So if I want to say, do they like me? Remember, it is, I am pleasing to them. So the io conjugation form of piacere, and then we're going to use the pronoun for to them. So I'll give you guys a moment to think about it. How do you think we say, do they like me? So, gli piaccio. Gli piaccio. Or, alternatively, a loro piaccio. I find that a little bit easier to say. A loro piaccio. They like me. A loro piaccio. Do they like me? A loro piaccio. See how it works? Now I'm going to give you another example. Now we're going to change it. We're not going to use io anymore. That, in other words, we're not going to say that I am pleasing. Let's say I like you. How do you think we're going to say I like you? Think about it for just a moment. I like you, in other words, you are pleasing to me. So what does that mean? Think about it for a second. You are pleasing to me. I like you. So now I'm going to walk you through it. Think about it this way. We're going to take what conjugation of piacere? We're going to take the tu conjugation. Why? Because you are the person that is pleasing in this situation. So it's going to be piaci, right? Piaci, you are pleasing. But now I want to say that I am the one who finds you pleasing. So what does that mean? We're going to use the pronoun me before it. So mi piaci means I like you or a me piaci. You can choose. They're both the same exact thing. So you see how that works? It's really not that bad. When you're trying to think on your feet and you're having a conversation, that's when this can start getting a little tricky. Or if someone just says it to you for the first time, like, wait, does Tom like me? Then it can get a little confusing because you kind of have to think in that sort of backwards way. Wait, so who is pleasing to who? Because if you wanted to say, does Tom like me? You would say, a Tom piaccio. A Tom piaccio? Because to Tom, I please or I am pleasing. Now, why with a name did we use a before it? Why couldn't I just say Tom piaccio or ye Tom piaccio? Both of those are wrong. When you're using someone's name, you have to use that setup with the pronoun a before it, okay? So does Tom like me is a Tom piaccio. If we say, does Tom like you? A Tom piaci, a Tom piaci, because you are pleasing to Tom. See how this works? So this is the general idea. The only thing that I want to close up on is just to give you guys a little preview of how to use this in the past. It's pretty intuitive once you get the hang of it, but I don't want to confuse you guys. This is just like that extra little bit for those of you that are a little bit more advanced or for those of you that feel like, yep, totally got this. So here's how we use this kind of stuff in the past. Anytime you want to say that you liked something in the past, you use essere as the helping verb. Essere is the helping verb for piacere. It's kind of similar to reflexive verbs in this respect. With essere, you always have to keep in mind, you always have to be mindful rather, you always have to be mindful of gender and number, okay? So, simply put, let's go back to saying I like something. So, I like it, mi piace, right? I liked it. How do we say I liked it? Well, we have to use essere. So, mi è piaciuto. Mi è piaciuto. In some pronunciations, you'll say piaciuto, and that's actually how I grew up saying it, but it's, it's maybe more of a regional thing. Anyway, that's just a side little fun tidbit. The point is, I liked it, mi è piaciuto. So, mi, essere in the third person, and then piaciuto. If I liked a feminine thing, we change piaciuto to piaciuta, okay? Mi è piaciuta. If I like a group of things, now what do we do? Well, essere will become sono, because it's in the they conjugation, and piaciuto, which is just the participio passato form of the verb, the past participle form of the verb, aka the passato prossimo form of the verb, is going to change to either I or E at the end. Piaciuti, piaciute. So, mi sono piaciuti. Mi sono piaciuti. I liked them. Or mi sono piaciute. But now, how do we do this with people? All we do is just use a different conjugation of the verb essere. So if I say, mi sei piaciuto, mi sei piaciuta, that means I like you. I'm sorry, I liked you in the past. But you're only really ever going to have to say, mi è piaciuto or piaciuta, mi è piaciuti or mi è piaciuto, or mi, sorry, mi sono piaciuti, mi sono piaciute. 
those are really the only things you're ever going to have to say, especially in everyday Italian. But if you want to get a little bit more complex, especially for all of my fellow grammar lovers out there, you just change the conjugation of essere and that corresponds with who you liked, not so much the conjugation of piacere anymore because it's in its past participle form. So guys, I think that's enough for today. I threw a lot of grammar at you guys, but I hope that I was able to explain this concept in a clear, concise, and easy to understand way. It is difficult to explain this in a short amount of time because there's a lot of ground to cover, but I think we didn't do, we didn't do too bad. I think we, we had some success. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comments section. If you are new to this channel and you'd like to see more of what I do and get notified as to when I put out new videos, be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much guys for tuning in and checking out this video. I hope that you liked it and learned a lot. I certainly enjoyed explaining it because I love getting into the nitty gritty of grammar. Always remember to spread the love guys and I will catch you all in the next video. Ciao, ciao.